So coin gecko is um, a coin aggregator, right? We use it to mostly make research about a particular coin, you know, fundamentally, fundamental analysis of a coin and a lot of things. A lot of things you can do with your coin gecko, right? Now, when you log into your coin, when you create an account with your coin gecko, the first thing you should be doing every day is to go to this candy, this candy bar. When you click on it, please do not miss it. You come here to and be claiming your candy, right? Be claiming your candy. You can use this candy to buy NFTs. And I believe in future, you can always convert the candy to cash. So since it's still free, make sure you're coming to claim every day. So this is our coin gecko interface at the top you are seeing cryptocurrency so these are all the cryptocurrencies that are listed on coin gecko i'm sure there are over five to ten thousand cryptocurrencies here yeah, if not more than twenty thousand but as we can see number one is bitcoin the coin btc bitcoin the price twenty six thousand plus dollars 24 hours it, it has done 0 0.2 percent whenever it's in green is in profit if it's in red is in loss so, so it has done 0 0.2 percent gain in the last 24 hours market cap of bitcoin is 507 billion dollars so these are the invested amounts in people people that are invested in bitcoin right same thing for ethereum usdt right and every other coin so we can go to nft these are all nft nft these are all all these things that's the mutant ap yacht club is an nft the floor price is 5.1 ethereum so you use 5 ethereum to buy this broad h yards club 27 ethereum you use 27 ethereum to buy it right and the rest of it this is the 24 hour volume floor price means the minimum amount you can use to buy this particular nft categories now we have different categories in crypto we have animal racing is they're all in niche we have the lsdfi we have assets back token we have football fan token so if you want to go to buy football fan token i don't know which one to buy no we have backer we have a lot of you can just come to this football fan token this fan token here you see all these things are all football fan token so you can, we have a um, backer we have man city OG, Lazio, PSG, Santos. So these are all football clubs. They are fan token. So in case you don't know which one to buy, can just go to category, select the niche. If you are looking for a crypto coin to buy in a DeFi, you can search for DeFi here. You can search for DeFi. If you do not see DeFi, you can come here and search DeFi. Category. Okay, you can search for it. category you can just scroll down and search for DeFi, dex essentialized exchange see it here you see if you click on it all the crypto you'll be seeing here are cryptos on decentralized exchange all this crypto now i may tell you buy a crypto on decentralized exchange buy a crypto on gaming buy a crypto on this so if you don't know which cryptos to buy you can just go and search for decentralized exchange all this crypto you are seeing now, are, are, what they are serving is for decentralized exchange, right? That's their, that's what they are, that's their, their use case. So these are all different, different departments. I told you guys that cryptocurrency that has different departments, different use cases. So even for ecosystem, the Ethereum ecosystem. If you click on this Ethereum ecosystem now. 
all the tokens here are all built on the ethereum ecosystem all the tokens here are on ethereum ecosystem you can go and look for coin on so these are all different departments right different departments doing different things layer one layer two smart contract oracle tokens if you click on oracle you will see all the different cryptos that are built on it defi <clears throat> defi decentralized finance if you click on it you see all the different tokens that are serving as a defi token so that's about it so these are all uh, the next one is exchanges we'll click on exchanges now when we click on exchanges you will see that um these are all different exchanges binance coinbase will be kraken q coin so you see them here and you see reported how much they how much they are trading when it comes to reported volume and uh -huh. you see so not the one that you can trust these are all derivatives futures trading so uh -huh. so these are all different departments but we'll be dealing more with cryptocurrencies right so um now we are back to crypto these are all different crypto coins so if for example now i tell you to go and buy a coin when you come to your coin gecko you can come here and search maybe i say you should buy a coin called bad ai you come to this place this place now search bar click on it then you search for the coin maybe bad ai bad ai bad idea it's meant to be here bad idea ai uh, see it here uh, have you seen it it will come out so this is bad idea so as you can see this is once you search for the coin you will see the the price chart this is the price chart of the coin all this chart you are seeing this one hour one h is one hour what the coin has done in the last one hour is it in a bullish trend or in a bearish trend? As you can see, it's in a bearish trend. Bearish is when something is going down. Bullish is when something is going up. In the last 24 hours, is it in a bullish trend? Is the market is in parallel? We're in a trending market. In seven days, when it it is bearish, one month. Um, let me say we are in a ranging market, so you can use all these things to analyze to know the best time to enter the market. So now that you are in bad AI, you are wondering which, where can I buy this coin? Where can I buy this bad AI now? So click on exchanges. We'll click on exchanges. So I see if I can buy it. Uniswap V2. Anything, it's anything swap, Shiba swap, sushi swap, anything pancake swap, all this swap swap thing. Know that, know that you have to buy it on a decentralized exchange. On a decentralized exchange. That is a decentralized exchange, right? So for this unit swap now, see Ethereum is in brackets under it. What does it mean? It means that you have to buy Ethereum and you use Ethereum to swap or exchange for this bad ai using the uniswap exchange so you have to go to your trust wallet you will buy sorry go to your wallet you will buy ethereum sent to your trust wallet you will now go to your browser or your decentralized app tab and search for uniswap you will now swap ethereum for this bad ai coin that's what he means for Shiba Swap to the same thing, Sushi Swap. BitGet is a centralized exchange. As you can see, you don't see anything like Swap. So it means for this BitGet now, you have to download the BitGet app, just like Binance or Bybit, and do what? Get yourself verified. Then you buy USDT, I use USDT to buy this bad AI coin, right? so my portfolio now i don't have any coin in this my portfolio so um i won't i won't um 
I can I can add I can add it the coin to my portfolio. I can add coin to portfolio here, so I can track it. I can add it. Uh -huh. So you can be tracking it. So I can come and put my holdings. Now maybe if I've bought the coin, I'll come here and put how much I have bought at transaction now, and uh, how many price per coin, how many quantity I have, how much did I spend in buying it. And the rest and I'll submit so that when the coin is going up, I'll be seeing whether my portfolio is going up, whether my money is going up. So you can also come here to monitor any coin you've bought. If you buy a coin, you can add it here as your portfolio. So if the coin is going up, you'll be seeing your percentage. I see it goes profit and loss. So you'll be going up. If the coin is coming down, you'll be seeing it, right? So info. Info means knowing about the coin knowing the fundamentals of the coin for example now you may want to know the real twitter handle the real uh, website of a coin this is where you come and find is this place they vote info so you can research more about the coin right so this is the home page now this home page what will you do this is the website the bit of the bad, bad idea dot ai this is the blockchain supply. This is where you come and see both the tokenomics, the supply, the everything about the coin. So this place, the whole chat is a social media platform where you can go and chat with their admins. They have a Discord platform. They have a Medium platform. Then this is their Twitter handle and the Telegram handle. So you can join them on Telegram and Twitter and follow up with the coin and their announcements. If they're having new announcements, you know. So this is about the knowing about your coin. So you can do it for every other coin. Now, another thing you can do with this coin gecko, for example, now we are still working on this bad AI now, is to copy the contract address. I told you that if you want to trade on a decentralized platform, you need to copy the contract address. Because if I go to Uniswap now, and I want to swap from Ethereum to this bad AI. They will ask me for bad AI contract address. So this is where you copy it. So once you click on this bad AI, it's a price chart. You scroll down a bit, you'll see contract address. As you can see, it's on this purple icon beside it. These numbers is the contract address. This purple icon means it is built on the Ethereum blockchain. So you do what you copy. This is where you copy contract address of a coin, right? Where you vote exchanges is to know the exchange where you buy it. As you can see, the exchange is Uniswap V2, Ethereum, Shiba Swap, Sushi Swap, Bitget, Bitmap, Polonex. This low on Polonex means that the transaction here is quite low. The transaction here is low. So, for you to be aware. So that's how you do for every other coin. This is basically what you do with um, CoinGecko. Another thing you can do with CoinGecko is to, I've told you guys, to monitor your coins. Set price alerts. So let's go to this notification button to the top left. So portfolio move. You can come and... <clears throat> Your candy reminder, you can click on it so that they'll be reminding you, reminding you of when you should be claiming your candy. You can put any time you want to. Mm -hmm. You can you can add portfolio, you can add coins to your portfolio so you can monitor their prices. You can come and set price alerts. For example, this custom price alert. Let's click on it. Let's say that you are trying to monitor a particular coin. You don't want it to go down or when it to go up. You can come and add new price alerts here. Right? You can say, ah, let me monitor this BAT AI coin. It can be Bitcoin, it can be Ethereum, it can be any coin. So let's say this BAT AI. Let me come and monitor this coin now. So I'll click on this BAT AI. I will now say this coin, whenever it goes to minus 20%, please alert me. 
I may say, may, I may, I may say, the reason my missing may be because I want to buy when it does, when it goes down a bit. So that may be my reason for this. I mean, I may want to buy, right? So minus twenty percent should let me know when it does minus twenty percent, so that I can buy. Maybe if you've already bought the coin and maybe you are busy with other things, you don't have time to be monitoring the coin. You will say, if this coin does plus twenty percent. Please alert me so you know when to go and sell the coin. Because sometimes people buy a coin and they miss out on the pump when it goes up. So you can always, whenever you buy a coin, always come here and set the alert so that whenever the coin does be above 20% of what you bought it, it will alert you. you can now quick know this coin has done profit though. You will now run and do what? Go and go to your ex wallet or your exchange and sell the coin. So you can do this and you can now save it here, right? So any alert you want to sell, you can put it in value of USDT. You can say, mm, this coin now is at this price. When this coin hits, when this coin hits one dollar, please alert me. I will so I can go. So anything you want to set, it depends on your greed, your greed right it depends on your greed so that's about it for for this so you can come here and add any coin you want to add and this is my portfolio movement i can come and add more coins in my portfolio all the coins, maybe all the coins that i've bought in coin gecko and coin market cap and everything i want to be monitoring them uh -huh. you can just come here and set your portfolio movement and put all the whole coins you've bought when how much you bought it how many a day you know i've told you guys how to do it now custom price a lot uh -huh. Uh -huh. if they do so, so so amount let me know so i can buy or sell so it depends on what you want to do so there are a lot of things to do with coin gig this is just a little of it so this is portfolio my portfolio now i think only have these are the coins in my portfolio IMX, there is ID, BADS, Velo, Bikika. These are all the coins I'm monitoring in my portfolio. These are the coins I'm monitoring. You can come here and search for any coin. You can come to the explore and explore different things. You can come here and explore. So get news you can come here and learn so these are all the things you can come here and learn a lot of things five popular crypto trading strategies and how to back this how to breach with zk sigera how to use so these are all you can come here and learn learn a lot of things about crypto so this is it more let's go to more is more like your accounts right you can follow them on twitter and you can sign out here so that's basically that for coin gecko i hope you learned something remember this is where we come to copy our contract address so i give you a coin to buy stop asking me you send me contract address send me what is the contract address just come to coin gecko go to this search bar here Search for the coin, maybe wiki cat, wiki cat. Come and search for it. When you search for it, you see the scroll down. You see the contract address. I see contract address. I see contract address. Uh -huh. You copy it and go and do your trade. If you are wondering where you will buy it, click on exchanges you see the different exchange where it's listed gates dot gates i know it should be on pancake swap portfolio info so that's about it that's about it <laughs>